Corvette's got a larger purpose than me. You know, is to educate society that blind people are not helpless, that, you know, we can do great things. You know, or all people with disabilities, as far as that goes, not just blindness. I've been thrashing for probably the last five months, just day in and day out. Jennifer will tell you to, to spend it every waking hour focused on that car, trying to raise the money or, you know, coordinate parts or help, whatever it takes. And this is a piece of technology that uh, allows me to measure. Nine, two, five, zero inches. So this is a digital caliper and I have a talk box that hooks to it. And that's got my life motto on it. You can make excuses or make it happen. And then here's a black executive pen that I make. And so you can see all the detailed machine work that goes into it. This is one way to help you know, raise money for the Corvette and stuff. And so I sell them on my website, theblindmachinist.com. I'm thankful that he has drive to pursue his, his passions and his love for racing. So I prefer that he has something that keeps him driven and keeps him busy as opposed to um, staying staying at the, in the house and, and just being feeling depressed all the time. We're strapping up and I told Steve, I said, listen, yesterday was a failure. I said, you know, we learned a lot from it. We stayed up all night. I said, I got something I can work with. I said, don't touch that steering wheel unless you're fearful of your life. Unless something's going bad wrong with the car. Don't touch it, believe in me. He said, you got it, brother. So we had the course clear. I started off slow and I told Steve, I'm just gonna roll throttle as I feel comfortable. Got going, I just kept running a little bit of throttle in it. And I probably the last half mile, I actually have it stuck wide open. And uh, went through the traps and I pushed to talk. Patrick at the command station, I said, how fast I go? He said, 152. And, it, and actually the trap speed ended up being 153.8. And I just, I just went crazy and so happy inside the car, you know, to be back racing. I was very grateful. I was very happy, crying. So mm -hmm. it was very emotional. But yeah, I, I was extremely happy for him. And so all that to come together at one moment to know that, you know, what you did was successful mm -hmm. is, was overwhelming. The accomplishment in February, that's history. You know, that, that was a couple months ago. So now we got to continue making history. Racers, you know, we don't know when to quit. You know, there's always a challenge. Um, and so when that, when I knew there was a goal out there for the world's fastest blind man, you know, and, and someone in England had it, I knew that, you know, Lord willing, I was gonna try to put together resources to bring that record home to America. So, you know, right now, plan's not stop until that record belongs here.